Valve just dropped an update to the Steam charts, adding data from 2004. Plus, a new Steam UI that is being tested by Valve has been revealed, and a founder of a VR company is teasing Valve's next VR headset. It starts with an update to the Steam charts, which added more options for filters and sorting, going all the way to the top 50. Not only that, Valve mentions how since 2019, they have been making the list by hand, and now will be doing it automatically. That said, with them now being done automatically, it freed up their ability to go back to 2004, running calculations for all the games ever released on Steam. So if you wanted to go back in the past and remember some of the most popular games on Steam in a specific period, like October 2007, now you can. If you're wondering how the rankings on the chart are done, Valve looks at the first two weeks of revenue for each of the games released during that month and then splits them into tiers. For 2004, it really is just Half-Life 2 until you go deep into 2005 and 2006 just due to the lack of games being released on Steam at the time. This also just shows how Steam grew with more and more big titles throughout the years from 2004 to the early 2010s to the last month in 2025. Talking about Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 RTX just got a new update last week on May 8th that addressed some lighting in specific areas. These changes result in Ravenholm being darker with more intentional lights and shadows, which are visible in the comparisons between the original Half-Life 2, the launch version of Half-Life 2 RTX, and the new update. For Steam though, an ex-post by Lambda Generation on May 15th pointed out that Valve is working on a new UI for the Steam Store. This UI was accidentally revealed to some users browsing their wishlist page, but has since been removed, indicating it is still in testing or development. It had an option saying Valve only in red text, give feedback, with the text, the new store menu is currently visible only to Valve accounts for testing. The new UI features a more visual tile-based layout that appears more modern and user-friendly. While some players are negative about the new look, appreciating what Steam currently looks like. But it also has been pointed out that this UI could potentially be optimized for different Valve hardware, as it does have a console feel to it. So what are your thoughts on the design? I've seen some users praising the refresh as super nice and suitable for the Steam Deck and potentially other hardware, while other players have expressed concerns about it feeling consoleized and less ideal for desktop use. But maybe that's exactly what it's for. Would you like this Steam Store UI if it was used for future Valve hardware? With this not actually released yet, you could expect changes for the final version, but it does give us a look at what Valve is working on for Steam and potentially a new design. I mean, it does seem like it would be a good UI for a Steam console like the Fremont. A few big improvements I've spotted is things like a few categories are a lot easier to find, as there is a section that will sort the Steam Store depending on different ways to play, while right now are just spread out in the categories with the hardware on the left and co-op on the right. What are your thoughts on this new Steam UI that Valve is testing right now? As well, out of the blue, the founder of Lynx VR, Stan, said the design of Valve's next HMD is quite amazing insinuating that he's at least seen Valve's next VR headset, especially given his position in the industry. He also commented with a picture saying I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. So Valve is out there showing off their next VR headset behind the scenes and now some of these people are publicly talking about it, could we see it released sometime soon? If Stan has already seen the new Valve head mounted display, it's safe to assume that Deckard is in the friends and family stage. He continued and said, I would be equally pissed if Link's next gen ID got leaked, so I won't share more. I'm just excited for good new XR HMDs. The HMD making world is so small, we all share the same suppliers for some components. So it seems like Stan is just teasing until Valve's official reveal. So could we finally see a Deckard announcement in 2025, 10 years after expanding the Steam universe in 2015? Talking about announcements, the CS2 Major in Texas is starting in just a few weeks, at the start of June. But why I'm talking about this is because unlike the International for Dota, where Gabe will show up in person or in more recent years will show up virtually, for Counter-Strike Majors, Gaben has never showed up. The thing is though, he has said it is something he wanted to do years ago at some point, and still to this day, he has never visited. That's where, with the upcoming Major in a few weeks, being in Austin, Texas, USA, it would be a good opportunity if he still wanted to show up one day. 
Of course, this is just some wishful thinking, and I wouldn't actually expect Gabe to show up, but with the major in a few weeks in the United States, that would be a pretty cool surprise. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future news and announcements from Valve.